Oh wait. Oh, is it? this is actually my um star plushie I got for my um birthday of this year, my um 20th birthday this year. So yeah, and also yes, I mean, I did get this um plush for my birthday. Actually, it looks really nice. I really love this plush of um star from Wish. Actually, so yeah, so so yeah, I am gonna move this to the side right now. So yeah. So today, guys, I am going to be doing my movie review on trade. So yeah, so before I go right over here, I am going to say this. Cue the intro. Okay guys, this is it, and today I'm going to be doing my movie review on this movie right now, today. So yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to be reviewing this movie right now actually, so yeah. Hey guys, this is Evans Disney's Film Corner Channel 23 here on Stake Guess What Guys, and today I am going to be doing my movie review on Charade, came in the year of 1963, so yeah. So I am going to read this plot on the internet, so yeah. So basically what the plot's about, after Regina Lambert falls for the um, dashing um, Peter um, Joshua on the, on a seeking um, holiday in um, in um, the French um, Epins, um, she appears upon to return to Paris that her husband has been murdered. Soon um, un, un, she um, and um, Peter are given a chase to free of... Uh, of her, of um of free of her late um her late husband in in world war contents which um um tax um ob um and um gillen and um i mean gillen which so i mispronounced that name but that's okay who are um after a um quarter of um a million of dollars of the quarter stolen while behind enemy's lines but the um but why does peter keep the change in um his name keep changing his name so yeah so that's basically what the plot's about about this movie so yeah so i did remember that this movie actually did came out in on september 24th of um 1963 at, at dc and also oh in, in um on December um fifth of um of um nineteen um sixty three as well in New York City and also was released in um in um in the um the um LA which is Los Angeles on um December twenty fifth of um of um nineteen sixty three as well which um before um I get to the rest of this I am going to um look up the um U S release date of um this movie which it came out just give me a sec guys it actually came out in the u.s on um december 5th of 1963 so yeah and um i know this movie is directed by um stanley donan and as well and i know this movie is actually based on a um a short uh, a 1961 short story the um ever the unappetizing wife and also this movie also stars um gary grant and audrey hepbloom which i am gonna do a little bit later on so yeah and yeah i know um in 2020 um the film was selected in preparation in the united states film registry in the library of congress as um as um being in the story it's a, in the sort of crit critically and it's so true i meant to say i'm i actually meant to say um historic and um aspirate significant so yeah and also this movie actually is a um romantic screwball comedy mystery film and i actually miss mixes free genres uh, yeah this movie actually mixes free genres is um suspenseful thriller rom romance and comedy which it does really well actually so yeah guys and also um also i forgot to mention um um before i what i think of this movie um 
um, Peter Stone actually did the screenplay of this movie, so yeah, and also, yeah. So yeah, guys, so what do I think of this movie? I have to say, this is definitely one of Audrey Hepburn's best movies, actually, and also, this movie is also really funny and also really clever as well, which also, yeah, of, um, of, um, combining three different genres with, um, suspenseful thriller, um, romance, and comedy, which it blends together perfectly as well, which honestly, yeah. And also, um, yeah. Yeah, I did review four, um, Audrey, Audrey Hepburn movies this year, with, um, with the first being Love in the Afternoon in February. I was originally gonna review it in, um, on Valentine's Day, um, on, um, on February, um, 14th of, um, this year in 2023, but I just didn't feel like reviewing it, so I delayed it until, uh, um, Friday, um, Friday, um, February 17th of this year of 2023, but that's okay, actually, so yeah, which, um, and also the second one I reviewed is my review on, um, aka my sequel review to, um, to Roman Holiday, which I reviewed back on, on, which I originally reviewed on Roman Holiday on um, January 29th of um, 2021. And the sequel review on Roman Holiday came out on my channel on uh, May 19th of um, 2023. So yeah, and also, yeah. And on um, the third um, Audrey Hepburn movie I reviewed actually, which... But should Which um just give me a sec guys, okay? Just give me a sec. Just give me a sec guys. It, it's just going slow. Just give me a sec, guys. Okay, yeah. I know this movie actually stars Audrey Hepburn, which I'll see. And also, the third Audrey Hepburn movie I reviewed in, um, in 2023 is, um, is, um, which I am gonna say it actually right now, actually, which the third one I reviewed is How to Steal a Million. In which um how to steal a million which um i reviewed on um august 18th of um 2023 and now um i'm reviewing trade on um on november 10th of um 2000 um on november 10th of 2023 which is also really exciting so yeah i got to review four audrey hepler movies this year which is also really exciting just like last year which i reviewed would um which i um reviewed um um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, I reviewed My Fair Lady, and I also reviewed, um, Funny Face, and also, um, Sabina as well, and also, yeah, and yeah, and also, Straight is definitely a fantastic, um, comedy, um, suspenseful movie, you, uh, rom and it's also a fantastic romantic comedy as well, I mean, this movie is definitely a fantastic romantic comedy, and also, yeah, let's talk about the, um, actors of this movie, like, um, Gary, um, Gary Grant as, um, Brain, as Brian was, was, as Brain was also, as Brain was, as Brian was also fantastic in this movie as well. And also, um, R.J. Hepburn as Regina was also fan, also the Gina Lambert, I mean, I meant to say, um, Gary Lambert as, um, I mean, Peter Joshua, which I mean, he keeps changing his name, and also, yeah, and also, um, and also Audrey Hepburn as Regina Lambert, which, which, uh, which, um, her performance in that movie is definitely fantastic as Regina Lambert, but also, she's definitely fantastic in this movie, and also, yeah, and also, oh, yeah, and, yeah, I mean, I mean, even the rest of the, um, actors of this movie were definitely absolutely fantastic and really amazing in this movie at the exact same time as well. And also, yeah, and also forgot to mention that this movie is also being smart at being really funny as well. I mean, yeah, 
But I mean, yeah. I mean, R.J. Hepburn is definitely a really fantastic actress. I mean, rest in peace to that actress. Even though she did die. Even though she did. Even though um, R.J. Hepburn actually died in, on um, May May 4th of... Um, I meant to say died on um, January 20th of 1993 at the age of um, 63, which was also really sad as well. I mean, rest in peace to that actress. I mean, yeah. I mean, R.J. Hepburn is definitely... A, a really fantastic actress, so yeah, and um, yeah, even though the production, what Peter Stone and um, screen screenwriters, um, Peter Peter Stone and um, Mark Brim, Mark Brim, um, um, submitted their script to the um, on um, advertising wife around holiday, they were unable to sell it, but they was able to sell it through um. A novel on the civil trade, which yeah, and also yeah, and now let's talk about the um the music the um, music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by um Henry Miller or right, or right, and um Johnny Mercy Mercer, which honestly yeah. I mean, their score in this movie is definitely fantastic. It still holds up to this day. A 60 years later, I mean, to say 60 years later, and still is absolutely phenomenal to this day. It still holds up. So, yeah. And now, yeah, it still holds up even to this day. It still is absolutely phenomenal and really amazing at the exact same time. I mean, enough said. So, yeah. And now let's talk about the production design of this movie, which honestly, it still holds up to this day, six years later, it still is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, yeah, it is definitely fantastic to look at as well. Like, it also, I bet this movie is also shot on location as well. And also, yeah. But honestly, yeah, the production design of this movie is definitely still fantastic to this day. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a really fantastic um um, romantic comedy, um, screwball movie, and also mystery movie as well, which honestly, yeah, which honestly, it's really great at mixing drama, so yeah, I mean, even the production design of this movie is very fantastic, I mean, enough said, so yeah, so overall, guys, I have nothing else to say about this movie, so yeah, so if you haven't seen Shrade, where have you been, I recommend it, so yeah, so yeah, guys, so I'm gonna give Shrade a... A 10 out of 10 spectacular. So yeah guys, what do you think of my movie review on trade? So yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and make sure to like this video. So yeah. So stay tuned for my um my review on the one that started it all with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which I'm gonna be reviewing that movie on Tuesday, November 14th of this year. So stay tuned for that. So yeah. And also, two days after that, I'm going to be doing my movie review on Robin Hood, which is the Disney version, actually, on um, on Tuesday, November 16th of this year. So, stay tuned for that. So, yeah. And also, um, for um, for the next day, on Friday, um, November 17th of this year, I am going to be doing my movie review on Parent Trap, um, the 1998 version, on um, Friday, on, next Friday, um, November 17th on my channel. So, stay tuned for that. So, yeah. So yeah, guys, so, so I make this wish, doing something more for us than this, oh, oh, oh more than this, oh, 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 who's your favorite fearless hero, who's your favorite fearless hero? Hero, I am ready. Come on, I'm ready. I'm impatient and setbacks and steady. Bless me now as you blessed us all those years ago when you gave us a miracle. Am I too late for a miracle? See the light where the sky meets the sea. It calls me and no one knows before it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know how far I'll go. Oh, remember me, though I have to say goodbye and bye. <laughs>